Yo, what's up, what's up? Victor Brown here from Napster Films and today guys we are going to create this effect. So guys, we are just inside DaVinci Resolve, so I'm going to start a new project. I'm going to click here to start a new project and I'm going to call this, let's just, okay, let me just open this Harry Potter Invisible Cloth project. So guys, I'm going to show you, th this is going to be a very short tutorial, about five minutes. So we're going to create this effect, let me just reset the software there so right away guys I'm going to drag my clip here so since we have the clip so I'm going to select my endpoint like so so I'm going to select my endpoint like let's say that, that is my endpoint I'm going to hit I going to let it play through and let's just say to the whole clip like so that is my out point so I'm going to drag this clip into the timeline like so so right away and then after after I walk out of the clip you see I still have another clip that is playing so I'm going to hit I where we have the clean plate so I'm going to drag this. Let me just drag it across here. I'm going to bring this clip that we had first on top on video track number two. And I'm going to bring this one below here. And I'm going to go here, right click on the clip that is below. I'm going to go under change clip speed and I'm going to select freeze frame. And then I'm going to it like that so I'm going to hit this because if I if I try to stretch the clip it just plays through so I'm going to hit control Z so under this clip I'm going to hit control C and I'm going to go to the end here and I'm going to control V control V I'm going to press this and so that we have this as a see-through so right away I'm going to select both tracks here, like so. I'm going to highlight them, right click, and I'm going to go under new fusion clip. So right away I'm going to hit the clip here, and I'm going to go under the fusion tab in here. And once I go under the fusion tab, let me just hit this button to create more space. I'm going to hit, I'm going to select the media input one and I'm going to hit one on my keyboard I'm going to select media two and I'm going to click two on my keyboard so now under media one I'm going to select it I'm going to hit F1 F2 sorry I'm going to hit F2 and this rename tool comes up and I'm going to call this clean plate So I'm going to rename this to clean plate. I'm going to hit OK or enter. I'm going to go under media input 2. I'm going to hit F2. And I'm going to call this Invisia. Let me just say Invisia. Like. Hit enter. Now I'm going to shift these nodes around. So I'm going to take the Invisia one 
above and the clean plate one since this is the background which actually the yellow indicates that this is the background I'm going to leave it below like so so right away I'm going to select the invisible one and I'm going to hit shift and space bar and I'm going to type in Delta so and it's right away it just adds this Delta key up. this is to key out the green in him so I'm going to take this eyedropper here and I'm going to drop it into the green like so and right away under the media output I'm going to select two so right away you can see what just happened so we have just keyed out the green so and there we have our clip so I'm going to go back to the edit tab and that's it we've just created the clip where we have I'm going to let it load and guys you, you should just check make sure that you your lighting is good because I messed up with my lighting in here so right here you can see the green is still there I should have shot the clip right under these shadows but actually this this is for educational purposes so I, I don't like that this is how they made the Harry Potter invisible cloth thing and now guys you know how to do it inside da vinci and guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel and just hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that next time that i upload the video you get notified because we are learning da vinci together and i, I also want to grow out with you guys and let's keep on subscribing and let's keep on watching this channel because I'm going to be releasing more cool videos about VFX and how to do most VFX that we see in movies so just hit that subscribe button if you like and if you even you didn't like my video then just go ahead and just hit that like button and just subscribe so that we can just grow out as a YouTube channel together and this is the tutorial that I was going to show you this week and see you next time guys